Did he? Nice to talk to you again. It's been a long time, but I'm afraid um, there's good news and bad news, it looks like, for you. Good news, you're back. But the bad news is your seat is now 10 times hotter than it used to be. In, 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 to summarize, what, what exactly are you facing this time? Uh, thank you very much, Johan, and thank you for the opportunity to put out some information on the water crisis that we are experiencing. Uh, firstly, um, last weekend, we had a situation where some of our areas, what we call the northern areas, were existing some water challenges. We then investigated and found there were burst pipes, and because of the size of those pipes, it took us a couple of days to fix it. Once we were able to repair those pipes, we then assumed that was our challenge. But unfortunately, when we restored the supply, we found that some of our areas, especially the northern areas, your Marburg, Pochepston, Umpton 20, uh, Pochepston CBD, and some of the areas further north was not receiving water. Then we continued to try and figure out what the problem was. And then on Thursday, we then suspected there could be a blockage at the main reservoir in the Boboy Waterworks. We then brought in some police divers to look at it, and they were able to locate a blockage. When we found that, we then thought that was a problem, and the problem was resolved. Sorry to interrupt you. What was the blockage? It was a what we call a shutterboard that was over the outlet okay. that we believed was preventing the water from okay. uh, going out. Then um, on Friday morning, when we realized that that had not brought us um, a solution, we brought the divers back in, and they looked again. We couldn't find anything. Then we brought specialists with um, cameras, underwater cameras, who then um, looked through the systems and we could not find any blockage. And thereafter we realized now that we were facing a crisis. I then contacted the Department of um, Cooperative Governance and also the Department of National Department of Water and Sanitation to assist us. And then we brought in some experts in this matter and we tried to work together to find out what the solution was. Unfortunately, the matter is so complicated that we were unable to resolve the problem fully. Sometimes we are able to restore water to certain areas, but that doesn't last for long. It then um, goes away, comes back at certain times. So we, were, we are experiencing some very serious challenges. But uh, as of the last day or two, we were able to restore um, water to quite a few areas, and we are now um, trying to find a temporary solution, which we're hoping by latest Friday morning will be in place so that all these areas will have water restored um, to them. Uh, in the interim, we are putting measures of uh, getting uh, static water tankers on the ground, we brought in more um, mobile tankers to tanker water. We are trying to work with the uh, businesses in the Marburg industrial area for them not to close so that we can provide water to them or else they're going to put staff off and we don't want to have that uh, situation. Now, unfortunately, Jan, as of last night, we have picked up uh, another uh, serious challenge in that we found that the Port Edward Reservoir has run dry and as a result there's disruptions to Port Edward up to South Broome and we also find that the Sea Slopes Reservoir is giving us challenges so we're going to have uh, problems with the parts of Margate and the extension to 3 which just compounds our problems. But now surely uh, there is cause and effect. I mean these things don't happen without a reason. I mean is there any idea why they happen and also the timing surely you know, the rumors that uh, sabotage and that people are doing it deliberately. Yeah, Johan, uh, there, there are many rumors and perceptions that are doing the rounds on social media. We have noted that and um, we, we do understand because we really can't figure out the boboy problem and with the kind of expertise that we have, it's just uh, impossible that we can't figure it out. But we're sure that uh, at the end of the day, we're going to be able to find a solution, both temporary and permanent, to this problem. In terms of the rumors of sabotage, which is now becoming very rife 
and even after last night um it's 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 ga- it's gaining more impetus is that we are now uh, we have now decided to take all the necessary um avenues open to us to look at that um if that is the case so we'll be now um bringing in the security agencies um and um looking at exactly what the situation is and are these rumors true or not yeah and, and especially against the background of the problems with the unions uh, the insurance etc i mean uh, could that have anything to do with it uh i can't uh, at this point in time um, make a specific um uh comment as to whether that is the case or not but like you said yourself it's part of the rumors and um uh, people are having these perceptions that that could be one of the causes but we are not discounting any possibility we are going to look at all possibilities what we can what i can safely say as of this morning's meeting my technical staff and even those experts that we have brought in have now told me that they have no doubt that there is unauthorized illegal interference in the system and where who's doing it how they doing it um why they doing it i'm not sure but i have been um convinced this morning by the various uh, legal experts that there is definitely illegal unlawful interference in our water uh, systems and now, unfortunately the bottom line is out there there are very very there are a lot of angry people as you will have seen on the social media you know some of them say things that really should have been, remained unsaid but the fact is they are angry now at this stage what can you what can you say one of the problems sorry did you one of the problems and one of the the, the um, one of many of them say that they hear the same excuses all the time and and they tired of that so so well, what would your message be in in response to that yeah and i don't think it's an issue of excuses i think um, from day one people were wanting us to commit to what is this uh, problem and by when it's going to be resolved now i am unable to do that because as of now we are still not 100% as to what the problems are all we're doing now is trying to find ways temporary solutions to provide people with water and like i told you we have a temporary solution we're hoping to implement by friday morning when all the affected communities i'm talking now about the northern areas will will have water as for port edward and margate we are still uh, assessing that and seeing how we're going to deal with that will have water so i cannot come out and commit to people that i found the fault and you'll have water tomorrow when i know that's not going to happen no. I do understand the frustrations of the people I I because I'm also affected myself I don't ha- have water it comes on it goes off it comes on so I'm also one of those that are that are affected uh, by this crisis but I'm not going to be able to tell the people what they want to hear neither am I going to be able to agree or disagree with any perceptions or rumors that are going around I have to keep an open mind explore all possibilities and the only thing i can say to the community i'm praying and hoping that the temporary solution that we are putting in place now the pipes have been ordered from johannesburg they should have arrived here this morning and then the specialists are going to construct a bypass and we're hoping that will work uh, that is the only um, undertaking i can give them i really understand the frustrations i know my family are also frustrated and i understand what they're going through and all i can do is apologize and what people need to understand uh, and i see that i've come in for a lot of criticism i understand as the municipal manager the accounting officer people are justified in directing at the, at the head but what people need to understand i'm not a water engineer i'm not an engineer i'm not a technical person i rely on technical people to do the work for me or do the work and advise me so as a result i cannot go there and uh, and and besides considering what's happening and discuss i don't have any technical solutions so so i i have people who do this work and i have to rely on certain technical experts and therefore when i found that we weren't able to find a solution i brought in people um externally so i understand that you want to vent your anger but i'm also saying let's be reasonable in this matter as an individual 
I cannot find uh, the solution for you overnight. I'm trying my best. Secondly to that, Johan, there's been some uh, Facebook postings or social media rumors or whatever you call that, that I'm not around, that I'm gone on holiday, that the mayor is gone to a party. If I want to give you the facts of the matter, and I think I sent you some pics, uh, Johan. I've been there from the time that this is happening, day in and day. I leave there, I go there early in the morning. The entire weekend I was there, day and night, on Saturday in heavy rain, soaking wet. I was there. All I can do is be there, give support, give direction, and be there for decisions. Other than that, I'm in the hands of technical experts, but, and I want people to understand that. Yeah, but now they say they're fine. Didi is fine. Didi is doing his best. But the people who work for him, these technical experts, don't know what they're doing. Okay. I, I know that uh, that was what the view was, and a lot of people made suggestions, bring in uh, Umgeni water, bring in water. I've done all that. And uh, we, had an we had emergency meetings on Saturday. Even late Saturday night, I met uh, 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 departmental officials. And up till today, they have said, listen, Mr. Naidu, water systems are not textbook systems. They're systems you need to understand that individuals put together. So we have to understand your system. And the truth of the matter, I've even gone, people said, bring in people who worked at Ugu many years ago. I brought them in. And right now I have them on site. So all the suggestions that people are making, I brought them in. But I'm not taking, I'm not siding or defending my staff. But even these experts that are coming in, they're also trying to work with my staff and they're also struggling to find so solutions. You, so you've got everybody that you can. I've got experts. I've got an international company called RHDHV. They have brought in their experts. I have a company called Joet, and if you're in the sector, you'll know that those guys are special. I've brought them in. They are even bringing more resources. I've got the Department of Water and Sanitation. They have brought in experts. I've got Cocta. They have brought in experts. And if you want, you want I'll, I'll assemble all these experts. At any time, you'll probably count 10 engineers around the table. Okay, but now another bone of contention is that uh, Ugu is not putting out proper information, continuous information, and that certain excuses, as they call it, um, are being repeated over and over. Johan, like I'm explaining, it's not excuses, it's the facts. And because of this allegation, I've asked staff, before you put anything out, run it through me. So whatever they're putting out there, we are updating. If there is no progress, I cannot say there is progress. Now, you see, I'm caught uh, in a situation where... Because I'm not giving pro, uh, telling you what you want to hear, you're criticizing me. Least I tell you tomorrow morning you're all going to have water and you don't have the water, then what happens to me? Because there was already post book facing uh, postings by councillors to say, um, when people said, no, why don't you contact the DD Naidu or something about tankers? Said, oh, is that the DD Naidu that makes promises and he doesn't keep? Now, I, cannot, I can only tell you what my technical staff are telling me. If that doesn't work out, then what do I do? So I've decided I will give you the facts. If there's no progress, then there is no progress. There's nothing I can do to change that, and I cannot tell you what you want to hear. Some of the councillors have visited the site. They've seen for themselves. And I said to them, now they must make the statements that they want to make in terms of what they have seen. But I can guarantee you people are there from morning till the early hours of the next morning, some of them through the night, trying their best. And this is something that's just baffling everybody. Today at 2 o'clock, there's another emergency meeting with officials from the Department of Cooperative Governance and Water and Sanitation. Now the they, they, they heads of those two organizations are coming down. And that is what we have. People on the ground who can't figure this thing out. So all I'm pleading with, with communities, let us work together. This is a, it's a very challenging time. We are in a crisis. We are try and, I can read, and I can tell you, and all the suggestions that people are giving, I'm implementing. I'm implementing. So it's not like I'm being arrogant and not listening. People have said, get this person, get... I brought all those people that... They've even gave me names of previous staff we had. I've contacted them, I've brought them on board. I've brought them on board and they are there today. They are there today. And you can even look at it. So I'm saying that all I have to do... And I'm asking the communities to, 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 to assist. And I've asked this question on Saturday when I have had people from both provincial lines. I said, as a municipal manager, what is it that I should have done, that I have not done. And what was the answer to me? M.M., you have done everything humanly possible to do. I've, not ha I've hardly had sleep. I've not been in my office for the last five days. I'm on site. And like Mayor said, uh, he said, M.M. has been here. M.M. is trying his best. 
But it's just like you, uh, Johan, if your car breaks down and you take it to a garage, the, the, the manager or the owner of the garage who runs the garage has to rely on his technicians. And if his technicians can't find the fault to your car, he cannot come out and give you a guarantee he'll have the car fixed by the morning. Yeah, but he must, he must make sure that those technicians know what they're doing and that they are the best in the field. And, and, and if we are saying that the people I have are not the best in the field, okay, let's assume that is correct. But I brought in the experts. You've given me suggestions of who I should bring in. I've brought them in and, I'm, and I have not been able to crack the problem. So I understand people's frustrations, but unfortunately, um, you know, I don't think um, that we, we, if there's anything more that we are not doing, we should do. The other thing that I think is that in an instance like this, we all need to work together and support each other. I cannot have a situation where my staff are, are degraded. I mean, I had one of my staff members, Johan. She's trying to do her best. And to be fair to her, she puts out what we agreed to put out. You cannot take a picture, screenshot it of whatever you do and call her a hooker. I won't accept that. No, it's unacceptable. I won't accept that. I'm going to deal with those people. I mean, the, those people who are calling a hooker, they wouldn't like their uh, mothers or, or sisters or wives or daughters to be called that. And, and this child, for as long as she works here, she's, she's, she, 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 I'm responsible for her. Now, why would you say something like that? And how is that related to the fact that you don't have water? Mm -hmm. Now, we cannot stoop to that level. So I think let's be responsible. Uh, I understand your frustration. Vent your frustrations as much as you want to. And I accept my position. As you said, I have to take whatever you throw at me. But please, let's not be personal and let's not degrade. But uh, well, that's not the end of that story. We'll deal with those people. Diddy, thank you very much. It's nice talking to you and all the best. Thank you very much, Jan.